Hey guys, this is another Weapon Awakening video for the newest patch, and I know, I know, this has been way overdue, but we're, we're going to do it now, no worries. And I'm also going to give uh, some uh, tips on which uh, specific weapon that you, you should be actually uh, getting in Destiny chart uh, here in a second. But let's first talk about the two Awakenings that we actually got here. And this time we actually got for Pengli. And Pengli's weapons are not exactly the favorites of anyone, really. Because you actually have to activate it so many times. But let's see what we got here. For Zone Hao. Zone Hao has been one of the most hated heroes in the game. Every single time somebody gets a Zone Hao on some inside, they, they're always going to get mad every single time I see. Or sad. When I see on message and things like that. But she finally got her weapon awakening. Let's see if they, we can change something here. Increases hero attack by 50%. For Song Hao, it's 100%. Pretty high. For three turns when the equipper casts three times. Okay, this is the bad part about the weapon. You have to activate the, the skill three times to even get the... Yeah, that, that's going to be a problem for sure. Well, let's check out the awakenings here. Plus one. Song Hao skill has enhanced. Restores 100% mana after casting a skill. So this is super powerful right off the bat. This is... Uh, the the power the power for uh, the plus five for Pearl, which that completely changes her 100% because you're able to activate her once, pass the turn, pass uh, activate her again, and so forth. So I guess in, after three turns you're able to activate this, and she will able to get 100% attack. So yeah, that that's pretty cool. This situation very powerful plus one. Plus two, somehow gains a new passive. Increases defense penetration by 30% when the, bat when the battle begins. So this is interesting. At this point, we're able to actually uh, cast the skill every single turn. And on top of that, uh, on the third turn, she's going to have 100% attack. And on top of that, she's going to get 30% defense penetration. So this one... Uh, this actually makes me think that I really need to test her out to see how much damage I'm able to put from Sun Song Hao. But the thing is that the skill is not doing a lot of damage, 192% damage to all enemies. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't think it's going to do a lot of damage, Daryl, even if it's such a big buff and all that. Maybe it's an accumulative, um, but she is fast speed. F2 and War is not going to uh, help so much because it's going to get a shield on top of that when you actually uh, actually give the, the, the damage to, to the enemy. So there's a lot of variables that I would need to test. And to test that, I need to invest. So yeah, yeah, that, that's going to be rough, guys. But yeah. The plus three, Songhao's passive is enhanced. Rusus and Soar's damage taken during this turn by 50% and inflicts extra damage equal to store damage on self for three turns. So I've seen this ability before, but in the in the old weapons that you used to buy and actually get 50% uh, project um, prevention and then for three turns you give you you do that extra damage. Uh, inflict extra damage to the store damage on self. So it's pretty much the exact same ability from, from those old weapons. But the problem with those old weapons is, yeah, it's going to prevent from one turn 50%, but then on three turns, you're not going to get this protection. And instead, you're going to get this damage uh, in that situation. So, yeah. Uh, it's it's not very popular uh, weapon in that situation, and for some maybe that's why they gradually removed it. But still, adding this on top of all this, maybe it could help her survive more uh, I don't I, I honestly don't think so the plus one and plus two are a lot more interesting than the plus three for sure in this situation specifically this 30% defense penetration this opens my eyes but she's not exactly a damage dealer so I would need to actually see her in action guys so I can't really recommend you to get this weapon specifically until I finally find a uh, brave soul to actually show me what's up with this so yeah yeah, we definitely need that for sure, guys. Very cool stuff. However, for now, I can't recommend you get to get this weapon or awaken it until, yeah, uh, as I already said. But it is interesting, and uh, somehow is a fast hero, so she will be able to get that buff at 100% uh, pretty quickly in that situation. Uh, so, yeah, we just have to wait and see. Probably we'll never know. Probably, probably. Now for Showman, ah, Showman is one of the most powerful green heroes of the game. I don't care who you are, this guy is a monster. Getting mana, lowering the attack and all that good stuff on the enemy. But he did get the awakening here. And this weapon per se, I'm not a big fan of it. Because you have to activate it two times to get 50% mana gain. Ugh. 
I'd rather just put uh, Fiona's weapon on him instead. I've got to get right off the bat, 45% when you're starting the battle without activating all the stones there. So that's probably my better weapon for mana gain than this, I mean, this situation. But let's check what he has here, guys. Awakening plus one. Showman's exclusive weapon effect requires one skill cast to be triggered. So it's not two times. Now it turns to one time. So all of a sudden this weapon turns into one of the newer weapons that when you activate the skill, he gets the mana gain right off the bat. But instead of 60%, you're getting 50. That's the difference. So yeah, <laughs> it's not very, doesn't look very motivating, huh? In this situation, but it's we still have more guys. Plus two, Shomin gates a new passive. Reduces elemental damage taken from stronger elements by 50%. So this catches my eye a, a lot more. And the thing is that he is green, and if you're finding out for um a red team, which red teams are freaking everywhere in arena, if you haven't noticed, and in war as well. It, it's a freaking plague. So yeah, uh he's gonna get 50% less damage taken from red heroes in that situation so that's pretty interesting pretty powerful especially if you stack it with uh isadora's uh, weapon awakening uh, ability which lowers even even more stronger element damage in that situation and raises the uh, defense by 100 percent so this could actually help showman survive more on defense if you have isadora on the defense team as well so that's interesting uh for me for sure because uh showman has never been a very good hero on defense However, this could actually help. Hmm. And I'm, I'm putting him on the very middle and uh, probably using Malfour uh, with his weapon at plus three, targeting the same target over and over again. Huh. That could be that could be an option if you really, really want to do that. Hmm. Now, Awakening plus three. Show means passive and has, has been enhanced. Reduces and stores damage taken during this turn for 50%. And inflicts extra damage equal to store damage on self for three turns. Pretty much the same ability from uh, the weapon uh, for for the gal that we just talked about a second ago. So, yeah. Uh, the exact same ability from those weapons. I, I already explained it. It's not very powerful. It only works for one turn. And, yeah. You know, yeah. So in this case, uh, I, I, I really, I really don't think that this weapon is going to be very worth it for you in this situation. Uh, spend your hard-earned uh, money to actually get this, because uh, uh, it, it is nice that it's going to activate one time. But there's better options in the game. Fiona's weapon is going to do a better job than this. Uh, Show me gets a new. Uh, so yeah, uh, if I, I do like the 50% less damage from Elemental, because uh, red is yeah a, a big problem. But it, I don't think that this is uh, this is enough for you to like motivate yourself to actually yeah awake in this weapon even more uh if you don't have Fio wait a second if you don't have fiona's weapon and you do have this weapon it could be a good option to actually uh awaken him to plus one so this way he activates and gets 50 percent mana game without having to to get fiona's weapon so that could work for you in that situation uh but the problem is that this weapon uh, that ability, it's only going to work for Shomei and not for everyone else. So at the end of the game, at the end of the day, still is Fiona's weapon is better for him, if you can believe it. Even if Fiona's freaking one, why? Because you can use Fiona's weapon for other heroes as well, not just Shomei. Remember that you're going to invest in a weapon that you're not only going to use it on one hero, but other heroes that you're actually able to uh, use. So you can you can actually use it as much as possible with other heroes there so yeah another weapon that i don't really recommend you to actually go crazy unless you really want to use this weapon in that case i do like that it does have extra defense that that is something that we have to m mention it does have extra defense so it could help them survive more than uh fiona's weapon in that situation so i do like that for sure now as promised i am going to give uh recommendations uh, for which weapons you can actually choose here. This is going to be really fast. I'm going to talk for every single weapon here. Uh, I'm not going to turn this into a straight up in weapon it's instructional. I already made one with, with most, of, most of the weapons that I already uh, are here. Most of them. The newer ones is not there on, the, on that video. But most of them are already there. And explained for over an hour. So I'm going to put that in my description box below this video. So you can actually see my explanation for every single freaking exclusive weapon. At the time of releasing that video. Yeah, that's going to help you all out. But I'm just going to give you quick recommendations. Isadora's weapon. Isadora's weapon is only for Isadora. There's no other hero you should be giving this by far. 
Alias weapon is by far the number one weapon you should be awakening. If there's ever a weapon that you want to awaken, is Alias weapon. It, it's it's so important that you can ignore every single other weapon awakening the entire game, but you need this one. So this means that every single freaking player in the entire freaking game needs this weapon at least at plus two. Everyone. Free to play, cheap to play, whale, whatever. Everyone needs to get this weapon awakened. At least a plus two. Plus three is required for uh, for using Alia on the attack specifically. Because the thing is that the plus three, uh, you are able to cleanse uh, the, um, the debuff for healing from Elmis. And at the same time, you heal on top of that. So that's going to upgrade on defense. But more than anything on the attack, that's going to give her a, a, an extra layer for you to actually use her in that situation. So yeah, if you don't have her awaken, her weapon awakening, you need to get this weapon. No questions asked, guys. I spend extra time on this one because it's really important for sure. Now, uh, Malfort's weapon, 100%, you got to get it to, to plus two at least on, uh, to be able to create the shield. But plus three is the most powerful one. You can actually uh, choose, uh, it chooses the target automatically there in that situation. So, highly recommend to get the weapon, weapon at plus three. However, lately I have been noticing less and less players have been using uh, Malfort on defense. So, that is an indication that you could decide not to um, awaken his weapon in that situation. But still, his weapon is pretty freaking powerful. Highly recommended. Now for this guy, Gardo's weapon. Uh, yeah, uh, I I only saw one person using this guy with this weapon, and uh, yeah, it didn't go so well. So I don't recommend you to awaken this weapon, guys. Ah, for Alden, all this this is the best weapon for Alden by far. This weapon is not recommended for anyone else. Honestly, it's not really recommended for anyone else uh, at all. Just Alden, guys. But this is the best weapon for Alden by far, for sure. Uh, this weapon for sure, it's for Mor uh, Morella's weapon is for Morella. You can use it for for certain heroes that you want them to lose life or get extra crit. When or in, or if you get the weapon and you and you don't have a weapon for crit for for an intelligence hero, uh, you can use this weapon for another hero. But do rec do remember that you are going to lose life when you're actually using that. So it's not a bad weapon, but it's yeah in that situation. But and for Morella, sadly I never really felt that this weapon is good for Morella. Uh, Morella does damage, but she's not like a high damage dealer. She's more there to lower the um, I mean raise the damage self on the enemy, not so much for doing damage. This weapon is cool um, when you're actually producing a lot of stones in your team, uh, it, and it's and only for Cathbad. So yeah, uh, I, I don't really recommend you getting this weapon so much unless you want to use Cathbad and do a lot of stone damage. A few events you are able to, you, you do need this type of weapon to actually do extra damage in that situation, uh, it, especially in speed runs. There's a few speed runs that do extra damage with the uh, stones and in green. So yeah, you could use it there, but no other place, guys. This weapon is absolutely crazy, disgusting, highly recommended. Uh, Lifesteal now heals. And since Lifestyle he is, is considered healing, uh, Elmis is going to have this weapon activated on, on his own. Just losing a little bit of life and then uh, doing damage with Lifesteal and he's going to ga gain the mana gain from this for sure. And the Awaken abilities is freaking amazing. This is an amazing weapon to awaken actually. If you want to awaken a, a good weapon, this is one of them for sure. Now Ray spoke about uh, Songhao's weapon and also uh, Showman. Uh, I don't recommend this weapon. <laughs> uh, not even on Rebecca. Uh, yeah, thirty-five. Yeah, it's it's not really recommended. It's not bad if you're using if you're using it against bosses. It's not bad, but after that, no, it's not really useful there. Uh, this weapon, I've never seen anyone, not, including myself. I have many of these. I hope she gets awakened. But uh, there's a lot of people that, no, nah, they're not going to use this weapon in that situation. It's better to just use Fiona's weapon, by the way. Now, this weapon is freaking amazing. It, it, the, the, and and any time that this weapon actually gets awakened, it's, it, it, this is going to be bonkers. And this is one of the, the most powerful shield weapons in the entire game. Anybody in intelligence can use this. Especially, well, more than anything, heroes that are like fast or or average speed. 
this weapon is highly recommended in that situation. And also for Percival as well. If you don't have this weapon and you have Percival plus three and you're not using this weapon, you're going to have a lot of problems. Okay, let me say it again. You need this weapon for Percy, period. That's it <laughs> for sure. All right. Uh, this weapon is good, but it's been a long time since it's been used. Uh, this one does stack uh, with uh, other weapons that create shields in the beginning. Uh, like uh, this guy here. Where are you? Where are you? I, was, I prefer to actually show you. Uh, Harold here. This weapon stacks with that one. And Harold's weapons, two Harold's weapons stacks with that as well. So it's, it's going to create the shields on top and start the game there. So I guess I also talk, talked about Harold there. This is the best weapon for Harold, by the way. So let's see. Uh, whip. Everybody, this is one of the weapons that everybody needs to have. Every single player in the fr player in the freaking game needs to have at least one whip, because that's gonna give 60% uh, mana to to the entire team except the one that is holding it. But still, this advantage to starting starting the fight, start in, in general, is so powerful. It's not even funny. So. Many people tend to get three whips. I highly recommend to do that as well. But if you can, at least have it one. This weapon, no, don't get it. It's not good for her. It's not good for anybody. This weapon, Awakening, is pretty powerful. I've seen combos that in, they, they actually help getting mana gain and get, gets this stack three times. The weapon is pretty powerful. Uh, it's, it makes uh, Garabeth like crazy. Other heroes love to get mana gain when getting skills. So this is a good weapon for sure. Fiona's weapon is one of the top three weapons I recommend to get f to like, yeah, for everyone. Every almost every single uh, hero that actually you want to actually use an intelligence needs mana gain, and this is like the top weapon for everybody to actually use. So pretty much, Alia's weapon, Whip, and this weapon are the top three weapons that I would recommend to get. And this is uh, a let, let's say let's say it's a must-have weapon. If you don't have it, get it, guys, for sure. This weapon, nobody uses. Not even Steed like, uses this weapon. I mean, no, don't do it. This one is a very powerful weapon for Damon, but exactly like Morella's situation, only put it on heroes that uh, you don't care that you're actually going to lose life, or when they go off, you're going to get a shield, and that's going to prevent the, the life from losing and all that, so that's going to be cool. But uh, in general, this would be a nice weapon for, for Damon, as long as it's highly awakened and all that good stuff in that situation. This weapon, I don't recommend it. Nobody uses it, not even Pearl. Instead, uh, give her this weapon. Where are you? Give give Pearl this weapon instead, which is Holmes weapon. Super powerful stuff, guys. So let's see. <sighs> so many. Amazing weapon. Incredibly one of the best weapons for shielding uh, for, for agility heroes, for sure. Highly, highly recommended weapon. Very good. One of the top weapons to get, for sure. This stacks three times. When it's completely full, it, it can give 60% uh, critical chance to any hero in, in that, that this is equipped. So this is super powerful stuff, guys. Very powerful weapon. And if you get it awakened, uh, it does make, give Lupita a lot of power. But it, that's not the value. This w weapon is so freaking disgusting. It's not even funny, guys. Highly recommend it to get. This weapon is amazing uh, with Karma and also an F4 of War. Pretty much, and you get it awakened, destroy shields, very cool, powerful weapon for sure, guys. Uh, this weapon for, for agility is super powerful. It, it gets, I don't remember how much in stats it gets for crit, but it's so freaking powerful. I should actually buy this weapon because I actually don't have it. Uh, this gets, um, this, this stacks three times in that situation. So, yeah, it, it is a very powerful crit weapon for sure, guys. Highly recommend it. This weapon is super powerful for bosses, and if you're fighting uh, enemies that are from the enemy color, very powerful because it stacks three times. Very good. Uh, this weapon, Awaken at plus three, is super powerful. It changes uh, Theo for sure. Highly recommend it. This weapon is also very powerful for Sigmund and other heroes that actually do a lot of crit damage. Loki, um, even... Even Holmes can actually use this weapon, but her own weapon is better. So, Holmes' weapon actually replaced this with this weapon specifically. And if you have a lot of heroes that are, are the same facts in the segment, you can use this weapon because you will be able to create a, a, a highly amount of time to that situation. Uh, Ruby's weapon, not recommended. 
don't even think about buy getting this weapon by far. No, no, and no again. Much better option is Gillian's weapon for Ruby. Highly recommend to get Gillian's weapon instead. Uh, this weapon is not bad when you're fighting bosses specifically. For PvP, it's terrible because you have to activate twice. And in PvP, let's be honest, you're not going to activate twice, especially in red. But in, with bosses, this is a very powerful freaking weapon. It pretty much made uh, this guy go up by 100% crit chance because you're going to pair him with someone else that's going to uh, give him, um, with short term, uh, give her a 100% crit chance in that situation. Very powerful. This weapon is only going to be good, good at Sozer, and nobody uses Sozer, <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't recommend that. Sozer has better options for sure. Uh, this is the, one of the best weapons for Adrita by far. It does give her 50% crit chance, and on top of that, if you use Zen, it's going to raise it to 80%, so very powerful weapon for Adrita. I've used it on attack and defense. Very powerful stuff, guys. Best weapon by far for Colette. Raises her attack. Does the Awakenings revolutionizes her and does so much damage <sighs> there's a combo with the new hero that is so freaking disgusting let me show you the new hero so so you don't uh, get confused here where are you where are you you're one of the newer ones here we go uh this hero gracia gracia's weapon is good uh as well um but it's, it's got, just gonna make her faster it's better to give her a shield weapon in my opinion but gracia this hero here i already showed you gracia uh, her, um, Colette and Gracia together is so disgusting, and with this weapon, uh, yeah, it's gonna destroy your enemies for sure. Highly recommend to awaken this weapon if you have Colette and you plan to uh, take her all the way there. Palmyra's weapon is freaking amazing for Palmyra and every every other agility hero that you want them to crit because it's gonna give them 50% crit chance. Very powerful stuff, guys. Uh, this weapon is only for Felia. Felia, with this weapon, at least a plus one, plus two, is going to be super friggin' powerful for Felia. No one else. Don't equip this weapon. Don't give this weapon to anyone else. Just for Felia, guys. <sighs> oh my god, so much. Zeus, this weapon is absolutely disgusting. I love this weapon. Oh, I have it awakened in plus three. Giving mana gain uh, by 50% is... It's a game changer for Zeus because Zeus before he wouldn't he wouldn't like go off every single time. Now he does with his weapon, so highly recommend it. Raises the attack. It's pretty disgusting. And the stones, this the stones do so much damage with his weapon at plus three that some people even uh, remove Crowley from the team and just doing damage with the stones. So this that that's just how important this weapon is. Awakened, very powerful. Now, this weapon is only good if it's awakened. If you have it awakened as high as possible, recommend it. But you have to make sure that Samal is powerful. He's This is a very powerful weapon, for sure. For Samal only in this situation. Uh, this weapon is good. It's not terrible, but Lupita's weapon is better. Unless it actually gets awakened. But Lupita's weapon, Lupita's weapon, <laughs> Lupita's weapon, for sure. That's the situation. Uh, this weapon is not so good. Uh, only Cynthia could use this weapon, but there's so many other uses for Cynthia on equipping, and this is not one of them. Uh, this weapon is decent, but I highly recommend to get a shield weapon instead. Alias weapon is my top choice in that situation. Uh, in this situation, but if you already have it, I mean, yeah, sure, whatever. You can you can actually equip it. She's gonna get the defense there, but shields pr prevent damage by fifty percent. That that is damage that is done to the shield, so that's a lot more protecting for her. And you need her to be protected. Uh, I mean, nobody uses this weapon. Not even Miranda. <laughs> so I I don't recommend to get this weapon in that situation. Sadly, uh, this by far is the best weapon for Crowley. Uh, but nobody else. Fifty. Uh, I mean, twenty-five percent is not enough to use it for an anyone else. But for Crowley, this is very important because you pair him uh, with um, uh, with Apollo at plus five. You you're gonna get eighty percent crit chance and sixty percent crit damage. So that makes Crowley do so much more freaking damage. It's not even funny. So yeah, uh, this is the best weapon for Crowley, but nobody else. Uh, this weapon is good for Deet Light, but the problem with Deet Light is he doesn't do much damage. He, they, I, I, they definitely nerfed him. The damage he does from when, when he does his skill has been lowered so much. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I can't really recommend you to get this weapon for him. M maybe give him another weapon differently. But I do equip this weapon when I actually go do a Tower of Illusion. 
because in Tower Illusion, he does need to actually uh, do uh, more damage and on his, on his own to actually pass the state and things like that. So in that situation, it is useful. Everything else, I don't recommend it, sadly. This weapon is trash. I don't care who you are. Don't re I don't recommend you get this weapon. Get Lupita's weapon instead, and Thor will thank you. <laughs> uh, this oh, this weapon is also trash. Instead, get Holmes' weapon. Loki loves Holmes' weapon. He hates his own weapon. Don't ask me. Ask him. <laughs> uh, this weapon is freaking amazing. I should definitely try to get this this uh, weapon um, with more refinement. Because this will give him a 100% crit chance. And uh, his ability from uh, from badges is crit damage. So this is I definitely need to upgrade this weapon for sure. Because it's going to upgrade him for, for him a lot. And also for other heroes. Because you, you are able to equip it to other strength heroes. And he is there. He's going to get... F that hero is going to get 50% crit chance. So that's pretty good. Uh, this weapon is only good for non. <laughs> I mean, what else can I say? Uh, this weapon, I, I always ask about this. Maybe it's the the stone damage. They intend to do more damage when damage dealt and things like that. Uh, but no, I usually don't recommend to get this weapon. It's better to give her just a mana weapon or a stone weapon in that situation uh, for best set. Mildred, by far one of the best weapons for, for agility. Best weapon for Mildred. And best weapon for so many heroes because this weapon actually has more defense, and on top of that, it's gonna create uh, when it's refined, it actually gives additional defense. So, when I want a hero to survive, I always put this weapon highly recommended to get for sure. Uh, wait, I jumped one. Uh, this is the best weapon for Samuel by far. I can't really recommend it for other heroes, but this is by far an excellent weapon for, for Samuel. This weapon is only recommended for Volos. It's only recommended for Volos. Crit damage by 50%. Um, hmm. Activating five stones. Nah. <laughs> I actually recommend uh, Holmes' weapon in that situation. So, only for Bolos. But Bolos doesn't really does a lot of damage. So, not even Bolos. Just get another weapon, guys. This weapon is pretty powerful for Searcher. It's not the best weapon for Searcher, but it is a very powerful weapon for Searcher because uh, when she's actually highly, uh, highly awakened, highly powerful, and uh, and she's plus five, this is not going to turn into fifty percent. This is going to turn eighty percent with her plus five awakening every single freaking time. So, yeah, uh, if your if your Searcher does as much damage as mine, yeah. You, you won't want to get her weapon in time, but there are other weapons uh, that you act can actually get to to make her work better. Like Mildred's weapon is better for her because her def her she's so freaking squishy. It's not even funny. So probably Mildred's weapon is better th than her own weapon. But if you want her to do more damage, this is a good weapon for her. Let's see. Um, I've always liked uh, Leticia, but her weapon I don't recommend. It's not enough. It's not enough, honestly. Holmes, I've spoken so much about Holmes. Best weapon for Holmes, best weapon for Loki, best weapon for uh, Sick Man, and a bunch of other heroes that do crit and are agility. And agility has a lot of heroes that, that crit. So, yeah, very useful, very powerful weapon. Highly recommended to get. Uh, no, I don't recommend this. <laughs> it is, it's not bad for Mallory, but it's not good for anyone else. I mean, you're going to lose life and, yeah, no more attack damage. Yeah. Uh, you can, you can get it, but I highly recommend instead uh, to actually get uh, this weapon uh, from Venus instead. Uh, Mallory loves this weapon so much, it's not even funny. It makes every single stone that she that she activates crit, which is freaking amazing. Highly recommend it for sure. Where are you? Where are you? So this weapon is not bad. Uh, for Luna, but it's not. I don't really recommend it for any other hero. Thirty percent mana gain is not really good for anyone. Uh, Luna does. I've seen her go off a lot more with with her own weapon uh, when she's on defense. But honestly, I prefer to use Lupita's weapon because it's gonna give her sixty percent crit and does do a lot more damage in that case. She has been nerfed and she's doing less damage, but still, that's my own personal preference. Uh, but this is a good weapon for her only in that situation, in my opinion. Uh, this weapon here, uh, this is not bad, uh, but it's more more for bosses than than more than anything. Su Yan is it loves this weapon. I, I've seen her on on the attack using this, 
but I really don't recommend it on, on PvP. I do recommend for PvE when you're fighting bosses specifically. This is going to raise her damage by a lot for sure. Uh, however, there are a few weapons that are actually do more uh, damage to weaker enemy, like Gillian's weapon does 90%. So 20% more, yeah. No, I mean, we're, we can't, we can't, we can't. It's, it's Gillian's weapon better for, for her, for sure. Let's see. This is a very powerful shield weapon. One of the best, in, in my opinion. And uh, the best protection weapon for Lorenzo on defense by far. This is so freaking annoying. When he gets the, the, the amount of shields here, it's pretty freaking disgusting. Uh, but yeah, uh, a good all-around weapon. It does give extra defense, which I highly recommend uh, for your heroes to survive on defense, attack, and all that. Very good weapon. Uh, this weapon, uh, honestly, it's only good for Alpha, but Alpha is not exactly a damage hero, so I really don't recommend in general, guys. Sorry. Uh, this weapon for Athena. Athena is, I actually recommend more Athena to be used, uh, with, uh, with the whip. Uh, a highly awakened, awakened whip because she's gonna like get get the uh, the mana really quickly. But if you want to focus your Athena uh, to specifically do loads amount of damage, this is an excellent weapon to do that. She does so much damage; it's pretty disgusting. And there are combos out there on defense for her to be the main damage dealer, and they work so well. Yeah. Uh, so you want to use it like that? Yeah. I can I, I can recommend for you to get Athena's weapon for Athena. No one else, guys. No one else. Let's see. Wow, we have so many more to talk about. So I'm going to make it a little shorter. This is one of the best weapons. Abigail on Abigail is probably one of the, uh, is the best weapon. Uh, and everybody else that is intelligent, that you want them to do extra damage, this is also an excellent weapon because it's going to give 75% uh, attack uh, to anyone that 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 uh, you equip this. So this is by far one of the best weapons for agility for damage. Uh, this weapon is only good for Rinosuke, in my opinion, because uh, uh, crit chance, and then uh, you, you probably want to uh, get him next to Apollo to actually get the full benefit from this. Uh, Rinosuke next to Apollo plus five is pretty freaking disgusting. That is why Apollo is a must-have hero, must must of the must-haves by far, because he's going to upgrade this guy as well, and on defense, is pretty disgusting. So, yeah, recommend it if you actually get Rinosuke, not recommend it for anyone else, guys. This weapon for her is pretty powerful, and in general, anybody can use this weapon. However, there are a few weapons that do exact the, the exact same thing in that situation. Mm, like Percy's weapon and things like that. So, uh, you can get it for Freya, but you can naturally get other weapons in that situation. Uh, this weapon is pretty powerful for Belnos, but only for Belnos. This and an, another hero that adds crit and crit damage next to her is going to make her do so much damage. It's not even funny. Highly recommend to get it for Belnos if you want to make Belnos your main damage dealer. If not, just put a shield weapon on her. Uh, this weapon is nice. Honestly, I, I like this weapon. Because uh, it does give mana gain to Guanju, and Guanju does need freaking mana gain. But honestly, most of the time you're gonna you're gonna slap a uh, a whip on him instead. But if you want him to get go out faster, this is a nice weapon for Guanju. But Guanju only. Uh, this weapon is freaking amazing. Gwendolyn uses it all the time, all the freaking time, because you get the mana gain. And I've seen other players um, equipping this weapon to other heroes as well, because it does give a good amount of shields in that situation. So it is it is a good weapon but it's a must have for Gwendolyn for sure I already spoke about this Haroth he needs this weapon to actually create extra shield starting off the fight and for him to actually get uh, his thing going with his actual damage there so highly recommended for him only you can use put it on on other heroes uh there are that you don't really care if it go off and things like that but uh yeah this is the best weapon for Haroth for sure this weapon it's not bad but it, it's only going to be for Apollo, and Apollo really needs a shield weapon, so it's not going to be this one. So I don't recommend you to get this for Apollo, if you were asking. This weapon is stashed three times. Very powerful. Very cool for Artemis, not for other heroes, but very good weapon. This weapon is very powerful for Regalt, specifically. 
If you don't care that the enemy, that, that the hero uh, loses 25% life when they're fighting freaking bosses, sure, you, if you're a maniac, you can actually use this, but I don't recommend it. And for Regal, uh, it's not a bad weapon for when he has, he's actually using it and turns the enemy into blue. But the problem is that he's so freaking squishy, it's so risky to actually use this weapon. He's Most of the time he's going to die, so it's probably better to get give him a shield weapon instead. By far one of the best shield weapons in the entire freaking game for strength. I, I would say it's the best one because it actually gives shields to, to the one that's equipped. And on top of that, when you refine it, it's actually going to give um, more shield power on top of that. So it's going to make the shields even more sturdy in that situation. So by far, this is, in my opinion, the best shield weapon for strength in the entire freaking game. Highly recommended to make your strength hero survive in general. Uh, for Gunoff and uh, for anyone else in, in that matter. Best weapon for Agony and only for Agony by far. Very powerful weapon for Agony only. This <laughs> one of the best uh, weapons for intelligence for shield because it's going to raise the, the defense a lot more and also the refinement as well going to raise the defense. Highly recommended. Best weapon for Raphael by far uh, and for any other uh, intelligence hero you want them to get shields. Especially the ones that are slow. This is the best weapon for Agena and only Agena for sure. Uh, ta -ta, good weapon for Molly, not the best weapon for Molly. This does not stack, it just gives mana game, so it's probably better to give her a shield weapon because the main thing you want for Molly is for her to survive, and you need a shield weapon instead of this weapon for sure. Uh, this weapon is pretty powerful for Aurora. I have seen it in action. This does stack, I'm, I'm sorry, it doesn't stack. But it, uh, when she goes off, this activates uh, automatically, and she does need mana gain. So for Aurora, it's good, but no other heroes, guys. Now, Gillian's weapon is by far one of the most powerful attack weapon in the game for intelligence. Specifically, if you're playing uh, with, um, with a team that changes the color to the enemy color. So that's clearly, that is going to be yellow, green... And red. Those are the three colors right now that change colors and, and to the weaker color in that situation. So if you equip this weapon to another hero, uh, uh, to another to to intelligence hero, and another hero turns the to the the enemy into the enemy color, this is going to do so much damage. It's freaking disgusting. Versus bosses, this is by far the best weapon for intelligence by far. Ruby loved this weapon, and yeah, if you're seeing the, the results from Valor Bosses, you'll see that this weapon has made Ruby a freaking disgusting <laughs> powerhouse. She's the one that is doing all the damage, guys, and this is the reason. This is the reason. Highly recommended. This weapon is amazing for Arthur. It is good for, for strength heroes to actually gain mana gain. It's pretty much, it's pretty much um, a Grabath weapon for, for strength. So it's not bad. It's a really good weapon and very excellent weapon for Arthur. Uh, excellent weapon for a director. And you do want her to go off as many times as possible. And this will make it happen. And the special effect actually raises, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is shield. Uh, shield power. So it's gonna, that's going to give her additional protection. So this is by far one of the best weapons for director. And not the best weapon for anyone else. Just for director. And But since director is such an important hero, uh, it is important to, to give her a good weapon. It is an excellent weapon for her. Uh, this weapon, I haven't really seen uh, this hero doing a lot of damage. I have seen her helping other heroes doing a lot of damage. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty powerful, but not with this weapon. So, I can't really recommend in that case. Unless you're pairing her uh, with... Um with a Chloe that is plus five and maybe hers doing that extra damage with the stones and all that. In that situation, she could do extra damage, but outside of that, uh, I don't really recommend it, but you could definitely try it, but you have to, you have, you, you have to get her for sure. Uh, the, that 30% crit chance and 60% crit damage for sure, uh, from, from her. So let's see. Uh, next one, Yuki. Yuki, this weapon is actually good for Yuki. She goes off, she gets 60% mana gain. It's pretty powerful. She is a slow hero, so she does need mana gain, but this weapon is only for Yuki. In that situation, no other hero is going to use this, so you have to take that into account, too. Uh, 
every single time I, I see the high level players, they every single time put this weapon on a mirror. Because uh, it does give an insane amount of HP, and that's going to raise the amount of shields that you're going to give to the entire freaking team. And to herself, so it, it is a really powerful weapon by far for her. However, I personally recommend to actually put just the whip at plus 3. Uh, on, on Emir instead because I'm going to put uh, Director N and Director N is going to make her go off on her own so it, it, she doesn't need so much protection uh, and I do need a whip holder <laughs> I mean yeah but yeah this is an excellent weapon for Emir not for anyone else for sure but for Emir is an excellent excellent weapon they designed the weapon just for her uh, this weapon is not bad uh, I have seen an action she it does make Shelly do a lot more damage, especially if you have Apollo plus 5 uh, right next to her. In that situation, she is going to do a lot more damage like that. But outside of that, I don't recommend it for anyone else, just for Shelly, and if you have Apollo plus 5. This weapon, uh, I haven't really seen Francine. Well, if somebody is, is crazy enough to attack with a yellow team... And uh, Francine has her own weapon on defense. It's going to be pretty scary. You're going to put it on, on, on Francine only and no one else for sure. And it's going to be in a defense team that's going to attract, attract yellow teams in that situation. Ah, we're almost finished. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, so, Gracia. Gracia, she, Gracia does need to go off faster because she is a slow hero. But honestly, I think she needs more protection than anything else. But her own weapon is good for Gracia. No one else, guys, in that situation. But she does need that mana gain. She needs to... She actually needs... I, I think she's actually average speed or slow speed. I have to check. But anyway, this, I, I've seen her on defense using this weapon. And she does go off a lot. So, I, I can recommend to get this weapon for her. This weapon is a must-have for Taran. No questions asked. If you don't have this weapon and you have Taran, you have to get this weapon. This is a by far. Giving shields and mana gain to this guy is so disgusting. Everybody, wh when I say that 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 Taran w was a must-have, a bunch of heroes, uh, I'm seeing a bunch of people uh, were saying, no, he's not a must-have. Not a uh, Now you know that he's a must-have. Huh? <laughs> now people are, were able to actually get the, the hero stronger. And now, yeah, a lot more powerful. You can see why I said he, he he's a must-have now for sure because this weapon and him in high level is very... Is a very powerful and very annoying hero, and this weapon makes it happen. He needs this weapon to actually make that happen, guys, for sure. Highly recommend to get this weapon for sure. And uh, Rosamia, this weapon is not bad for Rosamia, actually. Uh, I, I have seen a lot of players using this weapon on her, and uh, when she's not taking a lot of damage, it's an amazing weapon. She does do a lot more damage and all that good stuff, however. She is so freaking squishy that I cannot, I cannot recommend you to use this weapon. It's much better to just give her a good shield weapon that is, uh, that is uh, for intelligence in that situation. So she can freaking survive and power up her entire freaking team, guys. Because that's the main use for Ozamia. So give her a shield, a good shield weapon. Don't get this weapon for her, please. The times that I've lost against Rosamia, me attacking them, every single time it's because Rosamia has a shield weapon. Only reason. After that, if she does, if she has this weapon, she is. <laughs> you're serving her in in a silver platter for me, guys, because she is just that squishy, guys. So don't get this weapon. Get get a shield weapon for her for sure. And last but not least, I think this weapon is freaking amazing. It's it it gives um. Uh, shields uh, for highly and also gives her mana gain which is highly highly powerful highly recommended for her for sure and for other heroes yeah you can uh, equip this this weapon for sure uh, it, it is very similar uh, to Gunnel's weapon because it gives 50% shield so if you have Gunnel's weapon you have this one as well you can you can switch it around with other heroes and it's going to give the protection that you actually need on defense and so forth if you decide to not put it on highly this is by far the best weapon for highly I mean yeah shields and mana gain for a heal like this th this this hero bags begs to actually get extra defense and this hero actually and this weapon actually gets additional defense for her for sure so highly highly recommend to get this weapon and you are able to equip it to other heroes that are strength and they are tend to be glass cannons Whew. 
All right, guys, I finally finished. I hope this helps, guys, to help you uh, choose one of these weapons because that's every single time this event comes in, and that's the main the main question that I always receive. Uh, that which, which of these you should actually uh, which, which of these weapons you actually get. So hopefully this can help you this time around. All right, guys, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please leave it in the comments and we'll talk about it. All right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye bye.